Yes, I know I'm a little bit late this week, but please go easy on me. It was Easter. Tech time, man. The bun down is here. Go easy on Rasul Mina. One more year on the blog of them. Then I'm gonna lift the sip and sip rock again. She get the wings, them. So she not stuck again. But the bad mind out of luck. But she has some hard work you put in. And them a block the door. Never want you put a put in. But what a bit. A fi bit, no man can try to cool what a fi we end So big up off a big up and all who not forget big up Chuck off, fancy, with a that we can see you with your son a smiley face No laugh What's up everybody, it's your girl Babsy I am here this week to give you the bun down with Babsy This is supposed to be on Sunday Don't get on my case that it's coming out on Wednesday Because, you see what had happened was Jesus resurrected and all these things So then I couldn't interfere with the resurrection of Jesus Because I didn't want to upset anybody else You understand what I'm saying? This is what I'm late about Go easy on me boo boo So we got a few topics to talk about this week And I'm going to start getting into the crank Let me go Wait, hold on Before I get into the topics are you following me on social media like instagram and all them things my name on those outlets is strictly babsy my name on everything is strictly babsy except for facebook my name there is babsy at large do not forget to be following me here on my youtube channel strictly babsy where i do my rants reviews and all these sort of things you understand so this week we've been very, very, very busy, a lot of cussing, a lot of going on, and I'm here to let you guys know what you cussing about ain't make no damn sense. Topic number one, Buju Banton coming out of jail at the end of this year. Where is he performing first? Well, rumor has it that he's going to be having his first show in Trinidad and Tobago. And I don't think a lot of people are happy about that. Because I see a lot of people being like, why Trinidadians get to get the man first? Blah, 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 blah. Look, people, here's what I'm going to tell you right now and what I know. Since last year, I had heard that Trinidad was going to be the place that Buju Bantan was going to perform first. I had heard this before all this buzz was going on. I never said nothing about it because I didn't have actual details on it. And I still don't have actual details on it. But because I'm starting to see more um, conversation in the media, I'm starting to think that maybe it is going to be Trinidad and Tobago that it's going to be first. Now, I know a lot of Jamaican people are upset saying that they think he should be doing this in Jamaica first, yada, 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 yada. Let me tell you guys something. First thing, we don't even know if Bujubantan is actually coming out of jail at the end of the year. He might get himself into more trouble and extend his stay. So I think we should all stop arguing and speculating about when he's going to come out. When he does come out, that's when we should jump and shout. So two, when Buju comes out of jail, how do we even know he's going to be able to get to a performance? He's been locked up for 10 years. And I don't know, I've never been to jail, people. But is there like a drummer man and a saxophone man in jail? Like that they sit and they practice... What do you want to mass if he do? Like, what's happening in jail that Buju's going to step out and be able to shell down a 60-minute performance? I mean, I don't know. What's going on in jail that he going to just come out with the endurance to perform for 60 minutes? I don't know, guys. Um, I don't know. So to me, y'all coming on social media and cussing and carry on. I don't think you guys need to cuss to this magnitude. I mean, we're still in the early phases. We don't know what's going to happen. How about we just wait to see what's going to happen? And in other news, the Angel had her birthday party over the weekend. And Beanie Man was a headliner. And then Angel called Beanie Man out on stage. And if you don't know who the Angel is, the Angel is Beanie Man's ex-wife. Well, I don't know ex-wife because they're saying that they're not divorced yet. I don't know. I'm not a divorce lawyer nor a divorce judge. But they're saying that they ain't actually divorced. So the Angel called Beanie on the stage. Well, let me let me just insert the clip so you can see what the fuck happened. I want my So as you can see, Beanie Man was like, don't back, back on me. No. Oh, that's Soka. <laughs> the Mighty Sparrow. Shade. Wink, wink, shade. Anyhow, people, this is my take on the situation. I feel like Beanie Man has the right to do whatever the fuck he wants to do. So if he goes into a party, apparently he was there with his new woman, Crystal, who I like a lot, by the way. And I told Beanie Man when I saw him in person that he better motherfucking marry her. And Beanie Man, I will discount and do a free MC at your wedding. Wink, wink. But I think that if Beanie Man does not want to dance with somebody, he doesn't have to dance with them. 
And I think if he wanted to dance with her, he could have danced with her. And I'm seeing all these conversations of what he should have and what he should have. Beanie Man, do what the fuck you want to do. You hear what I tell you? You know you steam vibes. You want to whine on somebody, you whine on them. If they want to whine with you, by the way. Don't go just grabbing up motherfuckers and whining on them, Beanie. Don't, don't do that. And if you don't feel like Rasso whining on them, don't fucking whine on the Rasso people. You understand what I'm saying? All this motherfucking noise isn't necessary. Angel wants to back back on the man, and the man was like, don't back back on me, don't back back. That's all that happened. All these conspiracy theories, you are motherfucking bored. You know it's tax season, right? Did, did you file your taxes? Another topic that is not funny, by the way, is Safari, the ex-fiancé lover of Nicki Minaj, was robbed at gunpoint this week, and um, he had everything taken from him he was thrown on the ground had a gun to his head and um is a very traumatizing experience he went on to angie martinez's show afterwards to talk about it and ended up crying i've seen clips going around people laughing talking about how you know safari's not a bad man you know you got a gun to your head and rob who cares that happens every day and i'm like where do you live that that shit happens every day can you tell me please so i don't like live there um it's just weird to see how society normalizes traumatic experiences and try to make it look like, oh, you were robbed with a gun to your head and you're crying? Why? That's normal. Like, okay, um, all right. Um, I'm just going to try and stay fucking far from wherever the fuck you guys are. You know, me, myself, personally, I've had experiences myself where, you know, my cars become the focal point. I've been to events and my car tires have been slashed all four and, you know, like, just kinds of things like that. And it's just like... Either people see you with things and they don't want you to have them or they don't have them. It's just this weird kind of society now, which is why I try to stay away from anything and going anywhere. I try to lay low. You know what I mean? You have a nice car and people are mad. It's, it's just a weird time that we live in right now. And I'm sorry to hear about what happened to Safari. Another situation that I'm sorry to hear about is the situation that's going on with Fabulous the Rapper and Emily B. Now, apparently there was a very big domestic um, dispute between the two of them. Fabulous beat her up badly to the point where, you know, her father and her family got involved. I'm just going to insert the clip and you can see part of the clip that's going around right now. Again, I saw situations online where people were saying, well, why did she go somewhere where Fabulous didn't authorize her to go and whatever? And it's just weird to see that in 2018, men still feel like they control women and, oh, you didn't obey me? I can beat you now. You know, and again, it's cultural differences. The people that I'm seeing who are having these discussions generally are not in Canadian culture, thank God. They're far away from me. And they're just talking like, well, why would she go and step out and not tell her man what she's trying to do? She deserved to get what she got. And just, you know, it's unfortunate that this is how people think in these times. And again, I'm just, I can't say nothing else, but I'm glad that the people who think that way are not near to me. They are saying that Fabulous could allegedly get up to 10 years in prison for this, which is very, very bad. Um, I hope this all works out and I hope that Emily B is okay. Those of you who watch reality TV might have seen Emily B on Love & Hip Hop New York. Now, a topic that I saw circulating today regarding Conscience, that Conscience bought views for his music video. And this is actually very aggravating and I don't even believe that I'm addressing it, but I'm gonna address it because I'm gonna insert something to let you guys see the statistics on conscience video with rick ross big belly right look now there's over a million views look at how many times it's been commented on on facebook shared on facebook look how many times that it's been liked like this is an actual very legitimate statistic for a video that has a million views i don't understand where this is coming from i saw that conscience took pictures at the youtube headquarters and people ran with conspiracy theories 
I wish you guys would stop that. You know, um, there's no reason to believe that conscience has bought views. Conscience videos have always been in the millions. The way the YouTube algorithm works, you guys don't know. You're not YouTubers. You don't know how this thing really works. So I'm telling you, there's nothing illegitimate about conscience stats. And a lot of the other people you see that are saying he bought views, they're talking shit. Which is kind of why I'm glad I brought this segment back. At least I get to dispel a lot of the bullshit that the people are saying. No conscience is not buying views. You cannot go to YouTube and be like, Hi YouTube, can I have a million views please? Like where the fuck you gonna buy views at YouTube? YouTube is actually the agency that cracks down on buying views. Why would conscience go to YouTube to buy views? He can't buy views there. Like where would you buy views? The view buying department? Like, some of you people are just fucking dumb, yo. You talk shit. And if you do buy views, right, you can tell when a person buys views. It doesn't have anything to do with how, you know, their views spike. Sometimes people's views spike because they purchase advertising for their video. So they can buy from YouTube if using AdWords, certain things to make their video come up. Rick Ross is a very, 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 very popular motherfucker. Rick Ross coming up in a video with Conscience and somebody being like, oh, I've never heard of Conscience. Who's this guy? They're going to see the list of all his other videos coming up on the side as suggested because that's how YouTube works. So I don't see a discrepancy in the numbers. They don't look inaccurate to me. You guys are making up bullshit and you're reaching. Again, here comes this bullshit where you guys want to tear down the leader. Conscience is doing extremely well. He is out here in mainstream with Rick Ross. And the only thing you guys know to do is to come and discredit him and try to pull him down. Why are you discrediting your own people? Why are you not happy to see that Conscience and Rick Ross are in a collab together? Why are you not thinking about the other people that this is opening the door for? Why is it that you only know to come and say, well, he bought his views and he did this and he did that? You guys are sick. A lot of you people are sick fucking people. Lastly, Dutty Berry. Oh Lord, Dutty Berry. You caused me a lot of problems, Dutty Berry. Oh God, have mercy. So Dutty Berry did a photo shoot where I guess he was doing a video with somebody who's a makeup artist, by the way, and he put up a picture of him wearing makeup. Oh my God, I was asleep and people were messaging me. They're like, I tell you, he's a body man. Why do you care if it's not your body? Like, I'm confused. You, you're so concerned about Dutty Berry's body. Like, you should be concerned with your own. Like, that's just my take on it. I don't care if Dutty Berry's gay or he's not gay or if makeup makes him look gay or not. I'm looking at the fact that Dutty Berry has come a long way. Dutty Berry is a second generation Caribbean blogger such as myself. We came out around the same time and I am very proud to see where Dutty Berry is. Make up yourself anywhere you is. Dutty Berry, carry on and tell me where that purple lipstick is that you had on. I felt it was Mac heroin, but I'm not sure you need to give me the details on that. DM me, brother. There you have it, the weekly bun down. I hope you guys got your answers that you was looking for. And before I go, let me say one thing to those of you Cargonians who are on my channel acting the fool because I said that Cargo's album isn't soca. I have a few things to tell you. Effective immediately, I won't be answering you because I'm busy fucking off right now and sucking my blood clot mama. But I just want to tell you at least I know who my mama is and I know who my daddy is. And we took a DNA test the other day and he is my father. Take that in your ass. Lastly, I don't give two shits about what you think about my hair. Don't lie. Look at the wave on that shit. You're fucking lying about my hair looks bad. That's how I know you the fucking hater. You say I'm the hater, but then you will talk about my hair? Liar. Anyhow, I just want you to know this. At the end of the day, the album is not soca. You guys can tell me whatever the fuck you want to say on my channel. It's not Soka. You guys can talk about, he said blah, blah, blah. He said the album is Soka. He said the album is Soka. The album is not Soka. So while I'm fucking off, you guys can file a grievance with www.suckmyrasshole.com. There's an info link in there when you get to the website. Just go there right now and check it out. I won't be answering you till Monday. And when I do come back, the only thing I want to see is where's the fucking Soka song on the album?
Anyhow, it's your girl Babsy. I'm gone. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We bout here heavy, bout here heavy. Mwah. Love you guys, bout Cargonians. When you know my motherfucking army is ten times the size of yours. Don't do that shit. You gon' dead bout here. Boy, you're dead this time.